Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another tutorial. I uh, wanted to play around with how I can make ephemera with more writing space. I love journal cards and belly bands and all of those kinds of things, but like how can we expand that so that we've got more writing space? So I'm gonna show you how I did that today. So these are my samples, my prototypes, because I thought, well, I'll work in, in two projects at the same time. So the bits that you're gonna see here that we're gonna do on camera is for a special kind of ambassador project that I am doing for French Cottage Shabby. And we're gonna be working with her autumn kit. It's beautiful, peachy, pale pinks. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I, that's a project. I'm doing a one signature journal with an open spine, not an exposed spine like I did in the, um, the mixed media journal that I showed you guys, but a different, a yet a different kind of spine. So I'm going to set those aside just for a quick second so I can show you these. So we're going to be making a um, kind of an accordion type writing space. So this is a journal card that can slide in a pocket. So as you can see, we've got two nice little bits of writing space there. I've got some touching going on there. I might have to trim that up. Um, it might be just hanging over a little bit. And then so you've got it there. But if you turn it over, you've also got it here. So I think it's just a great idea for getting some extra journaling space. So that is our first one. And so again, this will be tucked into a pocket or belly band. Well, probably not a belly band because of the way I, I embellished it, but you get my drift. This one is a just a flip open belly band. So this will be glued on the top and the bottom, and then it can be opened like so. It'll be, yeah, it'll be glued on top and bottom. Other things can be slid in behind it, obviously, as a belly band. And then this is the inside. Tons of writing space. So that is the second one. I'm not going to bother to retie that on camera. And then this is a trifold belly band. So this one I just now finished. Um, and I'm hoping that this isn't going to cause a problem for getting things in, but I wanted to have something pretty sticking out of this one for some reason. I have a hard time not using lace. So there we go. So it opens up as a trifold writing space. And because this would be set in the middle of a page, a, a person might have a little bit of a challenge on this side, but you could always put a book board because if this is sitting in the middle of a page um, some of this is not going to hit a page but you could put something behind it so you could write on this this one would be fine I'm, I'm thinking so that is what we're going to be doing today so super fun and uh, again uh, a way to kind of get two things done at once I'm still working on ephemera for the grungy bee journal but I also if I work only on one journal consistently, I get burned out. So that's why I'm hopping over and I'm gonna do some work on this um, autumn. I'm calling it the, what did, where did my, my paper go? I can't remember what I was gonna call it. Oh, sweet peachy autumn. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. So I have already cut all the pieces, so we'll talk about measurements and things like that here in a second. Um, of course, you can make them any size you want. Um, my journals tend to be, the pages measure eight and a quarter in height, so that's how I measured out my belly bands. These are just some flowers that I'm gonna put on as embellishments. So this is the one that is just the um, flip open one. Super, this is gonna be like a no-brainer, super simple. All of these are really simple. So let's start with this one. I'm gonna take a moment and ink this up after I tell you what the measurements are. So um, width-wise, it is three inches by eight and a quarter. So again, you can make these any um, height that you wanted, or you could make them be a horizontal belly band. Uh, same process, you could have it. That would actually be really cool, except you're, you might have to do more flip-outs, like an accordion flip-out kind of thing to get really um, the most out of your your belly band because typically my pages are uh, five and a quarter. I might explore that because that would be a belly band five and a quarter wide with the same kind of amount up at the top and bottom that could fold down, which you wouldn't lose um, a place to write in that case uh, or a hard surface rather. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these things up and I will be right back. 
So just a little mention here about this tea dyed paper. So Daisy Isaac, she is the owner and operator of the shabby French shack. French Cottage Shabby Etsy Shop, and she also has a fa Facebook group, which I will link. Um, with these in, these pro product projects that I'm doing kind of as an ambassador for her, um, she wants me to only use her stuff. So I did ask her if she had anything she could give me as far as a coffee dyed or tea stained paper. This is what she gave me. Obviously, this is cut down, so it's not a true picture of what the whole paper looks like, but it's a great workaround for this uh, for this instance. So is all we're going to do on this is we're going to put a little flower on here. And we're going to put a quote so um, I am going to use quotes I, I need to reach out to her and make sure that that's okay but I, I have to put quotes on my stuff it's just really important to me so this is um, I don't remember where I got these but I will uh, try to remember to link them below so I do want to get um, some words on there and also a little bit of um, some kind of uh, lace underneath that I didn't pull out anything to put under dog on it that was silly what about this what about that that would probably work but I'm not completely sold give me just a quick second guys I completely forgot sorry about that my husband popped his head in he has been preparing for dinner today it is Sunday and our kids our local kids are coming over for are his infamous Snoop Noodle Soup, which is basically a potato soup with um, dumplings in it, but it's something that he, it was passed down from his mom, so he's kind of the chef in that regard, so he popped in and said he had to go to the store and get some charcoal for the barbecuer, because he's going to be cooking up the, the chicken on there, so as we, we do serve chicken on the side for, uh, for anybody that doesn't want the soup, so... There we go. So I just thought I'd put this on as a little extra and I'll, I'll cut off those edges, but that'll give me a little base here, which I I love. Can't remember which way my sorry silk was gonna go um, in my seam binding, but hold on. <laughs> oh, anyway, a little bit inf personal information from me there. kids love the snoop noodle soup so it's quite the quite the endeavor though he's been working on it um, a good portion of the morning here so I just need to reach and get a paper towel guys <clears throat> so don't you hate it when you're like planning a meal and you discover that you've missed something happens to me all the time <laughs> As much of a planner I am and as organized as I am in my life, I forget stuff in recipes all the time or things that I need for for a, a dinner or something. It's terrible. But the kitchen is not my is not my happy place, so I struggle. I struggle with that. This is gorgeous on here. Oh my goodness. Absolutely stunning. I'm just trying to get that straight. Perfect. That was just a piece of a of a vintage um, doily. So we'll go ahead and put our word on here, just right down here. Perfect. I've got my Fabri-Tac out and I'm using my Barely Arts glue um, because I just, some days I just don't want to fuss with art glitter glue. It's painful and it, it steals my joy. There we go. So, oh, I love it. So which one do we want to put on here? I'm thinking I want just this really faint one and maybe up here at the top. It's going to cover over some stuff, but I don't mind that. I think it's going to be okay. I don't definitely don't want to cover up the little girl. So we'll just put this up on the top. I like these kind of chiffon um, rose things, rosettes, because in a journal they get pretty flat because they're not a firm thing but it's just a very very pale pe peach I don't know if you guys can tell that on camera but that is it guys we've got that writing space we're going to take this piece of uh, seam binding and I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to find um, basically the middle of this as best I can I don't worry too much about perfection so I'm just going to put my my finger there and I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac and just put a bead of glue there and don't need to worry about that showing through on this 
ribbon because it's going to be it's not going to show this is not the part that's going to show so I'm just going to put that across so when you do this and you, I took a digital and I just fold it in half and then um, uh, sized it the way I wanted it to be so you do obviously you're not using the other side but it's not a big deal as far as I'm concerned so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna leave that under there just while I tie this tie this ribbon here or seam binding so it's gonna cover up her little little face here for a second but I think it's gorgeous um, the journal I'm making using this this kit is um, it's just a one signature journal, so it's gonna be pretty basic. It might be two signatures, but small signatures, so it's not gonna be a huge journal. I haven't quite decided if I wanna split the signature to make it a little bit less bulky because I, I just get bulky in my journals. I just can't help myself. So there we go. So that is that. Isn't that so sweet? Again, glued on top and glued on bottom, and it can just be opened and written on. So that is project number one. So here is project number, well, let's go ahead and do the trifold belly band. So this is um, a trifold belly band. So it's again gonna be glued at top and bottom, and then it's got this open space, sort of like what I showed you on the B-themed one. So that's what we're gonna do here, and Basically, again, what I did is I just took a full page digital and I found the center point. And the way I do that, in case you're curious, is I take my zero, I call it my zero, zero ruler, and I get this up here and I look on each end and I line this up so that, let's see if I can try to show you. Um, so there you can see we're at the almost the 10 and a half mark and almost the two and a half mark here. And then I find the center and then I go, I went out an inch and a half, an inch and a half so that this section here is three inches. Now the two sides that flip, that turn in, they are just slightly shorter than, than the, um, the three inches because you want them to clear that. So I, they're two and seven eighths. So each of these pieces is two and seven eighths. And again, it is eight and a quarter inches tall. So let me ink this up real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, just one more little piece. So I was thinking just as I was inking this up and thinking about the fact that I, on this project, I wanted to keep the video short. So I did completely do all of it other than, you know, like doing the folding and decorating off camera. So I'd love to know what you think of that. Like if you don't find that helpful and you'd rather that I did it on camera, I'm happy to change that up and do that. But um, sometimes it's nice to just have a shorter video and I'll just give you the dimensions and you can you can do it. So, um, cause basically on this one, I just put this in my scoreboard. I scored it this line, I scored it this line, folded it, cut off the extra until it fit to fold and the, that flap as well, see, so easy. So there we go. So that is our little tri-fold. And then what I thought I would do is take this, oh, I forgot to, oh, and we missed a corner of this. Hold on, let me grab my little thing that does that. You see, I missed the corner. Um, I missed this, cor this corner. My monitor is backwards, so guys, I am really not it, that inept, but when I look in my monitor, to see if I'm in screen and stuff, um, everything's backwards. <laughs> so I have a Mac and I can't figure out how to fix that. I need to test this because I can never remember which one is which. So let's just give it a try. That's the one. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna ink this up and then we're gonna run some lace along the length of this uh, belly band just because I like that look. I like some lace on my stuff. I'm trying to keep this journal, it's not grungy, it's very simplistic and beautiful, so there's it's hard to find ways to kind of dress it up. So I am going to put my uh, lace right here just so I can kind of see where my glue line needs to be. And I'm just gonna run a bead of glue all the way down. Okay, and over. Doesn't have to be precise. Just enough to hold it in place and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there and I pretty much cut it mostly to, to size I'll have to trim it a little bit but 
It's okay. I'm just going to scooch it over a little bit. It doesn't look like it's in the middle. But again, you know, as I say, perfection is not at play in the studio. It does not matter if it's not exact. I'm just going to snip off those edges of that lace. I have to do it from this side. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing okay. The weekend went so fast, so fast. Um, yeah, it always does though, right? The week goes so, so slow and the, and then the, the weekend goes fast, but I am grateful. Got some tape or something on there. There we go. And then I just thought we'd put this cute little image on here. This is another thing from the kit. It's actually, I believe it was a bigger kind of journal card, but I cut it down to fit this and I'm going to use this flower on this one I believe yes so I thought I'd put her in oh where's our sorry our seam binding gonna go I wonder if I should go like that um, nope I think she needs to be in the center so that's what we're gonna do I don't mind if the the sari or the seam binding, I always call it sari silk, seam binding goes across the middle. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. So there's that. And then I'm going to stick this up here. Isn't this so pretty? I got this from an Etsy shop. I will try to remember to link it um, in the video description with the, all the supplies. But she sells like a variety of different colors. Like this is one also from her shop. Um, but I thought this would be really pretty for all of the autumn stuff that I'm going to be doing. So, love it. Love it. And I like how that brightens it up a little bit too. Um, dresses it up really. I mean, I like the pale colors. I don't tend to be as much for pale colors as other folks are. But, so same thing here. We're going to turn this over. Oh, I didn't, I missed this edge. Not that it's going to show because that's going to be glued down, but and I'm going to go ahead and fold my seam binding in half-ish, just approximately, and then I'm going to um, sort of, again, you know, kind of guesstimate, like, uh, where's the center? That's 2 and 10, so right about right there. So this would be, so I went just beyond the 10 and just past the two, and that way I know this is my center. So in case you're curious how that works. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead of glue all the way across there, just to make sure it's nice and secure. And I'm gonna, where I pinched this, I'm gonna put that in the middle of the back and then just flatten that out, okay. Just hold it for a second. Again, it's going to be glued down. It's not going to be a huge issue. I, I do wonder sometimes if if this is going to be a problem when trying to slide things in and out. I don't think it will be when it's this way. If it's this way, it might uh, present a problem. I'm going to put a little bit more glue here just to minimize that chance. And grab my paper towel push that down and then I've got to turn it over to see I don't think it's even so I think one side is higher so I can kind of fudge that and pull it down and then I'm going to go ahead and turn it over and tie in the front right over our little pretty girl's face but again it's just dressing her up don't you know it's so pretty I believe that these are her daughters I believe that these are Daisy Daisy's daughters that are in her images and uh, absolutely gorgeous work that she does. I'm also going to be working with her Christmas kit. I don't, I'm not, I, ha I struggle with traditional Christmas kits because I don't, I'm not against Santa Claus in any way, but I am, and I'm not about all the gifts and all of the stuff. I, I want to create around the things that make memories and the things that about family and stuff like that so I struggle a little more I am venturing off of that normal pattern and I'm going to be doing a guest design guest design team project for a creative paper artisan 
and uh, I'm going to be using her Christmas Fairies kit, which is going to be really, really cool. It's very different from what I would normally do for Christmas, but I am going to give it a go. So down here I want to put a quote. So this one says, if a year was tucked inside of a clock, then autumn would be the magic hour. I love that. I'm not a big autumn fan, but I am getting better. <laughs> the fall is, has always been a hard time of year for me, but it doesn't always have to stay that way, does it? As we grow and heal and change, it can it can change with us. So there we go. Put that down there on the bottom, and we've got our our little trifold belly band. That is not even. There we go. So that is project number two. Love it. And then let's move on. Oh, I was going to do a scalloped edge. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> So I had this out. I must have at some point in my planning thought I would do um, a border punch on this, on this open edge, but yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have worked real well because of the way I cut my image anyway for my focal point, so that's all right. So our last one is a is a an accordion the accordion writing space so again i these are just i took this just as it was so these were the sizes of the cards and i just duplicated them and i made sure that they were even as even as possible um, and then i'm going to ink these up um, these including the papers and i'll be right back and then we'll work on constructing this okay so we are inked up so um, let me give you the, the dimensions on this as well. Not that it matters. Again, you can make these any width, any height that you want. So this actually measures, it looks like, uh, just about three and a half inches wide and six and a half inches tall. And then our paper is just slightly smaller because we want it to stay within the boundaries of the front and back uh, cover, so to speak. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and let me figure out which way. So I'm gonna, this is the front, I'm gonna turn it over. And then I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna glue this right here, okay? And um, I'm gonna put my glue on this part, so hopefully I won't forget. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this, this side rather than on the base because again, there's a little bit of a border on the base that's not gonna be covered with the paper, just a slight border. So, there we go. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fold this up a little bit so I can get a hold of it. And I'm just gonna set this down. I'm using my Fabri-Tac so that I have time to move this. I'm a little bit shaky today. So I'm just gonna get that in place and I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna slide it around and slide it over. We are a little bit big here. So we're not gonna have as much of a margin on the side as I had thought. Um, and you can see that we're, we're right there, um, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So, so that's that. And so then the other piece is gonna go on here. So I'm just gonna again, put the glue directly on this panel. Because when you fold this uh, paper, you're just making it a little bit of an accordion fold. Now, the inside papers, the writing part of this is just 20 pound paper, just to reduce the bulk. The cards themselves are 65 pound paper, uh, just for stability. So I'm gonna put that on there, and again, I'm gonna pick it up quickly so I can adjust it and make sure that it's all lined up beautifully. And then again, this can fit in a pocket. So it's gonna open up like that. You turn it over and you've got more writing space. Epic, epic, epic. Okay, so just a little bit of decoration on this. I just thought I'd put a little piece of lace here at the bottom. And because uh, we've got that natural bit of um, frame around the image itself, I'm not going to have it hang off because it's probably going to go in a pocket and I don't want to create a problem with that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here or a lot <laughs> oh goodness and i'm just going to put this on i'm going to cut off both edges because this i like having the control over this um the scalloped part of this so i'm going to scooch that over so that i can kind of have the scallops be the same about like that close enough okay the paper towel just going to press that down 
Okay. Perfect. Just enough of a touch. Now again, I don't really want to put it on the back. It's not necessary because only one side is going to really be seen. So that is our little accordion folding writing space. And then I'm thinking I don't want this dark brown. Maybe I do. That's actually kind of complimentary, isn't it? Do we want it in the middle? Hmm. I do need to cut away the... Um, this extra netting kind of stuff or whatever you call this bit. I had one already cut and then I used it for my uh, samples, the bee stuff. So I'm just gonna trim it up again. I don't like to see that all that white. Not a, not a big deal. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should it be in the middle? Because I do still want to get a quote on here. Let's see what our quote says. Autumn dresses up in gold in the richest season, it, the richest season of the soul. I love that. I wonder what happens if we put that there and then we just put this like that. I think that would be okay. There's no right or wrong, guys. It's just whatever is pleasing to you. One thing I do not do is I do not do things slanted. For me, it just tweaks me. I don't like it, and um, and so I don't I don't do it. I don't ever do it. But I'm thinking that this being over. Oh, that might be nice too over on the side. Oh, you know what though? That's going to go in the pocket. So maybe we should put it up a ways. Darn it. Hmm. It can still go in a pocket because again, this squishes down pretty flat. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to put it over here. And that is it, guys. This is was super cute or super, super. It is super cute, but it is also super fast, easy project and a great way to create a lot of writing space in your journals without taking up a lot of, of space. So I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.